Hello, I'm Dane. Welcome to another episode of Dax Jutsu. In today's episode, I will discuss how to create a dynamic comparison between the same set of periods. For example, I'd like to compare last week versus a week before that, or in the last two weeks versus two weeks before that. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm using AW or AdventureWorks tab set, which is available for free. You can download it from the Microsoft website. So let's start with our model first. So what I have is a disconnected table of dates, which is simply It's simply a summarized uh, dates table. So I have this original dates, then I took a calendar year and the dates. And then I have another table, which is I call presets. So presets will filter disconnected dates based on the date. So what it does is that if I go to preset and I select one week, it will give you the dates for the last week. And when I say for the last week, which the last week, the end date of my data set is uh, June 15, 2020. So from June 15, 2020, we count. We include six days prior, so we have one week. And the same goes with uh, the other days. On 20 days, uh, let's just select to instead on 20 days. And um, how I created this table, please refer to my other video, which I will provide a link down in the description. And initially, I used um, a bi-directional one-to-many relationship between many-to-many -many single direction and bi-directional one-to-many relationship in a small data set. The performance difference is negligible. But when it comes to large data set, choosing one, using many-to-many single direction over the other, will be generally more optimized it's because the filters don't have to propagate between two directions. Okay, and let's move on to our measures. So in this, this, I actually have two measures. One, which is previous period, and the other one, other one is in period. And the reason why I had to use a disconnected table is because if, for example, this is coming from a disconnected table, this dates. For example, I use the table, the column from the one with the one that is related to our fact table, this is what will happen. Let me undo that. And it said duplicate. No date. And general properties. Fish wall. By the settings. It should be between. Mm -hmm. Oh, weird. Okay. Six fifteen. Okay. So this is what happens. Okay. Let's say six fifteen. Use custom 
and select this one week example. Then select six one and then I normally can oops. So six one, let's say six to go back six fifteen and then six fifteen June. We should be able to see a dot for us, June fifteen and another dot for June fourteen. But because we use uh, the column that's coming from a related table we're only seeing one so the only visible row now is for june 15. So that's why there is a need to use a disconnected table so going back to that let's discuss our measures so again this visual has two measures one for previous period and the other ones in period so for previous period, either for in period, total sales in period, I use this formula. So we have total sales and keep filters treat us, which is the values from this connected table and then dates. So initially I use in instead of treat us. And actually the difference between the two in small data sets is very negligible. But in large data sets, this formula is more optimized. It's because treat us is uh, optimized at propagating filters or relationship, or I mean filters. And I had to use key filters as well. So it expects uh, the row context, which in our case is for each date. Now, if I don't use keep filters, treat us will calculate the total sales globally. So what we'll be seeing is the same sales value for all the date in here. See? But by using keep filters, uh, treat as now respects the raw context for each date. And next we have our total sales from the previous period of the same range, which in this case 45 days from June 20, or that's 44 days from June 20. And then another 45 days before that. So the formula is. First, we need to find the minimum date that is in our disconnected table. In this case, the minimum date is 5 to 2020. And then we get the total sales using values date. So the total sale should be well, supposed to supposed to be this is just before the minimum date because we don't want to include uh, the minimum date in our calculation for the previous date. So that should be just minimum date disconnected, and then so that's uh, the. Total sales from the dates 
min date disconnected minus days and period. So days and period simply counts the number of days that is currently selected. So days and period. If we go back to that, it, sim it simply counts the number of rows that is currently visible. So if we look at this, how many rows are visible? So we have 45 row visible. Because we selected 45. Now let's go back. So that's again total sales from the dates. Forty five days before the minimum date in our filter, which is five to twenty twenty, until the date before our minimum date. But here's the thing. So, but here's the thing. The problem is if we use a line chart, we will see a gap. Which is very obvious. Uh, let's look at this. Because our previous period sale tops at a 5 1 2020. There is no connection between the two. The two periods. So in order to connect these one thing two dots or two dates here, we need to change our measure to less than or equal to min date disconnected. That's why the name of this measure is total sales previous period without a gap. Now, the center. But of course, we need to calculate the previous period sales correctly. So we have another measure which calculates that. And this one doesn't have a gap. It's simply, uh, and I mean, this one is just within what's supposed to be called, within the periods that we are supposed to include. Because that's what we will need in computing this. So you might wonder why is why is why am I only seeing one measure in here? That's because I use an HTML5 this which is actually generating an HTML table with three columns. The first column has the word previous period or prem period and the other one is in period and variance. But the values are referencing our measures. So how did I create this one? I just used chat TPT. Now let's check. And how about custom? With custom, every dates are visible. So we need to select a period. So that's 506 days comparison. So five, this is 506 days, and the other one is also 506 days. Oh, well, so, oh, well, all right. Well, that's it for me, and thank you for staying with me. Have a good one. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.